Alright guys, welcome to Lisa the First. So this is a first in the series of games titled Lisa. This is Lisa the First and technically just titled Lisa or Lisa the Game. And it was an RPG Maker game that was made by this guy and he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna make a game. And then it became popular enough and he was able to make more. And he was able to make uh, Lisa the Painful and then I think an extension to that Lisa the Joyful. And it's a very different games, but it's later on in the series. For now, we're going to be playing this game. And this game is actually a game that I got into because my friend Hero, aka the guy who I've done videos with, who does a lot of the art for my channel, he was like, hey, you mind playing Lisa? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I demoed it, and he's like, no, I've met the one on Steam. And I'm like, ah, too bad. I'm doing the first one first. You can't stop me. He's like, but it's not as good. And I'm like, too bad. It's like an hour long. I mean, I'm going to do it first. It's part of the story. So let's start here. I should mention before we start that this game has a lot of sexual content, child abuse, uh, psychological scarring, grotesque imagery, like suggestive things. It's not a child friendly game. So if you're not child, if you want it to be child friendly, don't watch this video. This is not a good video for children. It's not, the implications here are not good for most people. So if you're sensitive or child, I would not get into this. All right. So you walk around with the arrow keys and you control with uh, ZX shift and escape. This is a trash can. He's taken away everything. The sheets are disgusting. All right, Lisa. So as you can tell, things are not exactly good and this he that she was talking about isn't exactly a good person. It's locked. He always keeps it locked. Right. She doesn't understand the picture. She doesn't understand religion. Everything is always kept locked, and then there's this guy sitting on the couch. Go back to your room. So, that man out there, there's very little narrative to this game. Like, it, it won't often tell you what's happening. You have to kind of figure it out based on the implications. Oh, I went too far. So that guy won't let us leave the house at night because, you know, he's... I wanted to say responsible, but that's not exactly true. So once we get out of here, I'll explain who he is and what this is about. So that was Marty. That is actually Lisa's father. Or at least a father figure. I'm not 100% on that. But that's Marty. And essentially... You'll see throughout the game, but he isn't exactly on the best terms with Lisa right now. And he obviously wasn't paying much attention to her right there because she just slipped out right next to him. As you can see, uh, based on the background, which are all Marty's just clumped together, and the sidebars for that matter, she doesn't have a high, uh, I guess, what, what what's the way of putting it? Doesn't have a high opinion of him. You're trying to run out on me, aren't ya? Then go home, coward. Yeah, actually, we are. You can't run forever. You're wasting your time. And now we're sent here. This will be our hub for the game. Press escape for inventory and shift to return back here. So if you hit shift, you'll end up back in the middle of this room. If you escape, you'll go to your menu. So in here there will be some items that you can collect throughout your journey. And you can also meet this dickhead. Don't mind me, I'm just waiting. Also, while I'm here anyway, uh, my friend Sandy actually asked me to point this out because it's very important to her. When you interact with this and she goes, Aah! That's not her throwing up, that's her in disgust. Because apparently it's a big difference and a lot of people thought she was bulimic or something. I don't know. I'm not sure, but Sandy was quite adamant that I show that off when I mentioned I would play this game eventually. 
So I should mention I have played this game a couple times. I played uh, once on stream about six months ago because I was originally trying to do the recording then, but there were some issues with the video and I wasn't happy with it. I've done a few test recordings since then just to make sure I knew everything I could show it off with these and I knew as much about the story as I could without knowing too much about the future game because I do, you know, I don't really like spoilers. Alright. None of the puzzles in this part of the game are actually very difficult. They were pretty self-explanatory. Also, I forgot to show this off. Work gloves, making movie, making moving heavy objects uh, possible. Sorry, I'm not exactly like, oh, I'm uh, super knowledgeable about everything. I can't really say all the definitions for all the items really well off the top of my head. But if we head up here, wanna know a secret? No, get out of my house. Apparently he's really into secrets, so sure, what's the secret? Find the hidden path, find the cement house. I have no idea what that is on the ground. It looks like a battery to me. So he mentioned a cement house. Over here, there is a cement house. If you talk to this guy, stop talking to me and get me some rum. You need to talk to him to activate something in another area, so you should do that while you're here. Well, I guess it's not another area, it's just another part of this area. I don't know real. I, I don't know. I guess technically it's another screen, so it is another area. Here, you got a banana. Yay! So, if you go down here, and check this out. Banana, a weird looking banana. I've been informed that it's not actually a banana. That is actually something more grotesque. So, use your imagination on that. Oh, hey, this guy. You can't escape. He gets in your way, and anytime you walk into him, he says that to you. It's kind of annoying. And now we're at a nightclub, full of Marty's. Fuck to fuck yeah. I don't think he's breathing. I love rum. Feel it, baby. Ugh. <laughs> He's preoccupied, he's preoccupied. I don't know, I'd be pretty preoccupied big man like that. The bartender's gone? That's what we had to activate before. The bartender wouldn't be here before if we didn't talk to that guy. He's in another room now. Don't bother me. This fucking guy. A rock? I don't really understand that one, but alright. Hi, fucker. Is she, huh? Oh. Oh. Good. Yes, I'm the bartender. What's of it? You want rum? Fuck it here. I'm pretty sure we're not of age, so, uh, that's illegal. Just saying. Then again, Marty doesn't seem like the most reliable person. Ellipses. Whoa! I don't want to go home. Alright. Don't look at me. So he's passed out in his own throw up, and I accidentally interacted with the toilet while I was over there. Hence, the throw up sound. Well, I get, once again, not throw up technically, it's uh, just disgust. So we got the rum, which I'll interact with in here. This looks cheap. Alright. You can't escape. Yeah, well, what you can do is, if you're getting stuck on him a lot, just go in your menu and leave. Go reset. It's uh, kind of an oversight. You gave him the rum. He gives you a red key. So let's interact with that now. The bottle is half empty and a red key. That's all it is, red key. Yeah. So we're not gonna... I don't think there's anything to do with this house. I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember anything to do with this house. So I'll show it off, but I don't really understand the point of it. Like, there's this tiny yard right here with a little bench and a room up here. So maybe this has to do more with something in the later games, but I'm not sure. The statue stares at you. Oh my god. Also, that statue totally reminds me of the Money Money statue from Earthbound. I think I said the name right. If I didn't, then Feature Gabe put it on screen right now what the actual name of the statue was. It's a weird, creepy thing and red key breaks. Return to the entrance? Uh, no, let's not bother. 
I'll show off the broken key later for now. Let's do block puzzles or rock puzzles, technically. Alright, I believe you have to hit this one. Yep. Opens that up. Hey! You can I have your banana? I'll give you something really good in return. So, Hero had me not do this, and I think he was doing it just to be a dick. Ah, thanks. Here, you got a banana peel. Toilet. Ugh. That is now my new uh, catchphrase. So, actually, I went ahead down here. And I don't remember where the item in, is in this big room, so if I take too long, I might just speed this up. But there is an item in here. I'm gonna get straight down from here. Um, yeah, it's over here. You got a razor. So like I said, there are a few items. Now, you got a razor, a dull blade, a banana peel, just the peel, and a red key. It's broken. So we're done with this area now, and if we head up the staircase... Oh no, not there. Now if we head up here... I think since I skipped this text, it won't pop up. I already did the other thing that I needed to do. So if it does, then I'll just edit this in. Yeah. So I I probably just edited in the actual text it's supposed to say, but I just cut him with the razor because he's kind of a dickhead. Did you really think that would work? I'll never leave you. You have to swallow me. Get over it. Yeah, that's kind of gross. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're done there for now. Let's head in here. And this area is a bit different than a lot of areas. So if we head over here, he'll be Marty again. But he has rosy red cheeks, a suit on, and just standing by this beautiful lake. With a little heart above his head. And I believe... By the way, this is a like looping thing, so if you go down too far, you'll be back at where you started. If you head right or left too far, the same is true. And here's Marty sitting watching TV, and he's still, you know, adorable and cute and stuff. It's, it's great. And then there's these two money money statues that if you walk through, everything gets more hellish. So if you come over here, he's a zombie. That's true for all Martys in this area that were, you know, like the normal, like, ah, wow, good relationship stuff. And then, uh, it gets really dark here. So if you can find this staircase, you can come down here. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Now, I'm just going to return to lobby like this, and we're going to head back in the red room. We're just trying to rush through this as much as possible. Did you really think that would work? I'll never leave you. You have to swallow me. Get over it. Oh no, right, I can't use that until later. I didn't, I didn't go in that door, so you don't know what I'm, you don't know what's in there. Um, I think you have to, yeah, you have to come over here. So you're supposed to go to the top right up there, but I need to head over here first. I need that banana peel, please. You gave him the peel? Thank you. He must go. His planet needs him. There's a napkin here. You take the napkin. So, napkin. It's rather clean. Plastic bag. A, a bag large enough to fit overhead. What do we say, big? It's weird. So, my friend Cass, Cassandra, Cassie, whatever you want to call her, she pointed out recently that, you know how I, well, I'm sure I've brought up in some kind of video, that I always say bag, but sometimes I say bag, and I'm not sure what the difference is. Like, I just randomly do it. I just cut that with the razor. So you need the razor to get in here, by the way. So I randomly switch between them, and I have no idea why. I have zero idea. So if you come down here, it's a dead end. And there are spider Martys. So, you, I mean, you might be able to dodge this guy. Let's, no, nah, I wasn't able to dodge him. There's an entire wall of them up there. You won't be able to dodge them all. But instead, if you head to the top left here, 
let's see. Here we are. There will be spider marties and they'll have like a little fall path where they try to follow you around. It's pretty easy to dodge them as is. So it's not a problem. And once you get to this area, it's like a checkpoint. So if you die up here, it'll be whatever. These guys are all on just simple walk paths. That probably should have been tested better. Because they kind of like run into each other sometimes. I don't know. Let this guy go by. And we've made it this far. Now we'll be getting into some other kind of attitudes right up here. These guys run away from us. So you have to be careful about how you move around them. Because if you'd move from the left over there, all of the guys running away from us would have headed up here. And we'd have to kind of like lead them through. But since I went through the right, we can actually just make them go down instead. And we head up here. This really intense room where you found a bottle of pills. And a not plugged in lamp. So... I am kind of confused about one thing in this area. So, this area, you know how we have the ability to press shift at any time to get back to the lobby. Well, if, whenever you leave, you just do that. There's no reason to actually go through the puzzle I just showed you right at the end. You can just hit shift and go back. I don't think you ever have to go back to that area, so I don't see the point in it. Um, so I finished this area, we are completely done with it for now. But, I believe, we just got a bottle of pills. Some of his old pills. So, I figure this is a good time to go down here. I, wait, no, I already did this. I don't know what I'm talking about. I actually was originally planning on doing that later on, but I decided to end up doing that earlier. Because I'm weird. Silly. Now... I believe we can head up here now. And things are kind of messy. Messy house filled with gross and disgusting and zombie. This is supposed to be kind of representation of how she feels about the house. Everything's always a mess, Marty's ruined everything, etc, etc. But, if you come all the way up here... Um, I don't think it's in this house, but I figured I'd show off all the rooms and everywhere. In her mind, he's kind of in a cult. Really, he... He's, a, like, gone too far in religion, and she thinks that, essentially, she hates Marty at this point. Everything about him, she finds him to be gross, a drunkard, like, she doesn't understand religion. She's a child, and Marty's supposed to be like a father, but he doesn't act like it for some reason. Give me that napkin. He takes your napkin. I really needed that. You got a finger. Yeah. So, those things I'm doing right now, between all the, like, trading all the items, you don't have to do that. If you want even the best, like, even the true ending of the game, you never actually have to do that. You have to come in here and you have to hit this, like, cross and everything, but you never actually have to deal with the finger, the napkin, the banana peel, the banana itself, any of that. And now these crosses will be our checkpoints in these areas. Yes, more spiders. Yes, I really hate it. This is the one area of the game where things actually get kind of annoying because of some of the puzzles that happen up here. I have a lot of trouble with them, and they're not great. They send you too far back for... I walked into it. They send you too far back for what you're doing. It's just annoying and lengthens the game time for not really any reason. So I get to that checkpoint, and up here is where it gets bad. Okay. Move this guy out of the way. Ah, dang it. 
So this part isn't the bad part I was talking about. It's actually right after this, once we get down to the next rock puzzle. So all the rock puzzles we've been doing have been kind of training us to move them. And whenever we see them move them, I almost got hit by that guy. Oh, um... Um... Okay. Let's push these guys all the way up. As you can see, this middle guy is the slow guy. You don't have to worry about him much. Just make sure you don't, like, get stuck on him or something and you're fine. Perfect. I got this guy on the top, which means I haven't met, like, made a mistake yet. I don't know why I had such trouble trying to say that word, like, meh, 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 but I did. And we did it. Normally, I have a lot more trouble with this puzzle. If you make a mistake, you can't just hit a reset button or something. You have to leave the area via shift and come all the way back in and do all the puzzles again. It's really annoying, and I'm sorry for not talking much during it, but I was trying to focus. You place the plastic bag over his head, and he disintegrates into a VHS tape. I'm going to be honest, I don't have any footage of what he says if you just walk up to it normally. I've never not had the plastic bag, so if I'm feeling up to it, I'll, like, record that. Otherwise, I'll try to, like, look it up and put it on screen or something. I don't know. Um, you played the VHS Tricky Ricky. Yay! I'm cliff jumping! This seems safe for a little girl, right? Right? What's with this music? Hi, dickhead. Oh, hi! My name's Rick. I like exploring caves. I like friction. Oh, and I'm a sensitive guy as well. <laughs> but I get you, you all knew that already, right? I hope to see you soon. Don't run too far. I'll be waiting. Yeah. As the implications might just from the name imply, <sighs> there may have been sexual abuse in Lisa's life. It's not a good thing. Now, let's see, what have we done? We have gone into here. We've gone into here. We have not gotten into here yet. We are not going in here. I'll actually show you right now what it is. I still have some footage of it from a previous like test recording. And it's just a really long ladder, like a long rope, and at the end of it, it's just a middle finger. A literal hand just flipping you off. It's a dick move. There's the water up here, and then there's things we did there. So. I'm going to finish this trading side quest by going in here. He takes the finger in return he gives you a re a, re -H, a VHS tape. I don't know why I said it like that. You played the VHS Marty. And now we get to play as Marty for a short bit. A plastic tea set. So what this VHS is all about is this is a VHS that Marty took of the good times of him and Lisa. When he used to sit down in a suit and drink tea out of a plastic tea set with his daughter. Back when things were good and not as messed up as they are now. It implies that Marty wasn't always the bad person he, he is now. That's not an ending to the game, it's just a hidden secret, and it gives a bit more story into the characters. Now... I didn't show off the VHS tapes, which I probably should have, but it's whatever. A finger. A freshly cut finger. Yeah. Plastic bag. A bag large enough to fit over a head. So, I believe since we have the finger, we could trade for the VHS tape again if we wanted to see that. But... 
We have no reason to. A dull blade. I don't think we have any new items then. If we come in here. Oh, never mind. I thought it was to that point already. There's a small hole in the crotch. So knowing there's a small hole in the crotch of that statue, you stuff the pills down his throat and he disintegrates. You get the sword. And with this sword, you insert the sword into the slot. So we put it into his crotch. Yeah. Because you know that's not an implication or something. So this area is a palace. It's plastic. I still have no idea what that is. Is it like a urn or a vase or something? I don't know. I can't really see well from the window, so future Gabe, if you have any idea, if not, then make up a word and pretend that's what it is. Good job, Gabe. You're you're amazing. You're fantastic. So all these rooms are empty, so I'm going to skip over them. There's no real reason to show them. But I do like the idea of this. Wait, not this one. Um, if you head up here... All the way up here at the end of this huge, long hallway... Yes, it takes a minute, I'm sorry. The golden throne. <laughs> the throne room. Yes, the throne room of this palace is a golden throne, a.k.a. a toilet. I love that. Little details like that is one reason why I kind of like this game. It's simple, it's free to play, it's nice. And if we head all the way down here, head into this side door, it's a bed and a vanity uh, station overlooking a pool. I don't really know much about it, but it looks pretty cool. Sadly, now we have to see this. It's kind of hideous. We can't really do anything with it. Marty is some weird amalgamation of disgusting. But if you go behind him... You can find yourself. And it looks like a cute little heart. Kind of-ish. If you kind of like turn them at an angle maybe and bend them, I don't know. Now Marty's there instead. You got a necklace. So we have all of our item slots filled right now. Necklace, something you cherish very much. Actually. Now. Rick is gone. So let's head up here. Let's save, just in case. We're back at home. She doesn't have any comments on any of the things in here like she did before. He always keeps it locked is her only response to that. <laughs> and he's naked. You're wasting your time. Now before we run off and do our normal thing, if you head straight left here, you can grab this VHS tape. This is important if you want the true ending of the game. You really don't get it, do you? You really thought you could forget? Why are you trying so hard? Accept it. You can't fight something that already happened. There is no understanding, no purpose, 
There's only life, and this one is yours. Accept it. I'm here to stay. And no matter how much we run, we never make it anywhere. No matter how far or how fast, we're still stuck in the same place. The end. Or is it? If you start mashing X, you can get back into your inventory. And see that since we picked up this VHS tape, this VHS has no label. It allows you to get back into here. And for some reason, it starts giving those messages like this is the first time you've been here. Now, I want to save just to have this for later. Lisa, is that you? Lisa, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lisa, I didn't want to leave. Lisa, I didn't want to die. Lisa, I love you. Don't go. You can't. You can't run. Game over. So what the story is about is this. Lisa is a young girl with her father named Marty. Marty is a drunkard. He comes home and th starts throwing up everywhere. He is a mess due to something that happened. That thing being the death of Lisa's mother. Lisa's mother passed away and it happened such a long time ago that Lisa herself can't even remember her mother's face, the person who mattered most in this world. And that's why during that scene when her mother turns around, it's Marty's face on that sprite. Because Marty's replaced her mother. She hates Marty. Marty's a drunk, way too into religion. He's a mess. And he has everything wrong with the world in Lisa's eyes. So what I've heard this game's actually about is this is the limbo. Lisa just tried to kill herself. At the end of this, she tries to kill herself, and that's what this entire thing is. She was sexually abused, there was emotional and physical abuse, he was a drunk. The game isn't a happy game, but it tells a story, and that's why I decided to play it. The second game, I believe, is Lisa the Painful. I will be playing that later this year, I picked it up. And there is a DLC, I guess, for the game called Lisa the Joyful. I will be playing that as well. In those games, I believe you actually play as Marty, and I believe it's after Lisa's death. This is all speculation on my part, but I, I'll i see with you guys later. This game is a good story, but like I said, it's not appropriate for children or those who have had these experiences, and that might be... I guess the best way to put it is triggered, but I don't really like that word because it's more of a joke on the internet at this point. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and seeing what this game has to offer. Give it a play if you guys want, and check out Lisa the Painful and Lisa the Joyful on Steam. They're both good from what I've heard. My friend Hero is really into them, and I'll be playing them later this year.
I hope you all had a fantastic time, and I'm sorry that the uploads have been kind of messy recently. I've been working, I've worked like over 50 hours this week, and the last week I was really sick. It's a huge mess. I was sick for a couple weeks, and then this huge week of work, and I've hurt myself so much. I keep like dropping things on my foot. It's ridiculous. But hopefully this next week I'll have a lot of extra time, and I'll start working on my next main series. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.